Welcome learners. In today's lesson, we are going to look at structure and bonding. Now, we will look at the definition of the word bonding, structure, types of bonds and structures, characteristics of the compounds which are... We begin by looking at what is bonding. Bonding is a combination of two or more atoms to form a molecule or a compound. Structure is the arrangement of particles, i.e. atoms, ion, or molecules in a regular pattern. Now we have what we call types of bonds and structures. Types of bonds and structures include ionic bonds as a structure called giant ionic structure. Metallic bonds as a structure called giant metallic structure. Covalent bonds as a structure which is either giant atomic structure or simple molecular structure. We begin by looking at metallic bond. Metallic bond is a bond between is a bond formed between metal atoms. It is formed as a result of electrostatic force of attraction between the positive nucleus and the delocalized electrons. The structures below shows the metallic bonds in metals. Structure here, we said the bond is formed between the positive nucleus and the delocalized electron. So this one is for any element which has got one fans electron, e.g. silver, sodium, lithium and potassium. Now the next one is for those elements which have two valence electron which include any group 2 elements or copper, barium or iron 2 ions. Now this one belongs to those elements which have three valence electrons which includes group 3 elements al aluminium, boron and iron 3 ions. Now characteristics of substances which have metallic bond is one they have they have high melting and boiling point reason due to strong metallic bonds which require a lot of heat energy to break. The strength of the metallic bonds depends on the number of the localized electrons. That is to say, metal, the strength of the metallic bond increases with increase in number of the localized electrons. We can give an example by saying aluminium as high melting and boiling point than copper aluminium has got more relocalized electrons than copper hence its atoms are held by stronger metallic bonds property number two they conduct electricity bonds in molten and solid state reason reason due to presence of the localized electrons Conductivity of metals also increases with increase in number of the localized electrons. Let's say, for example, I can say sodium has low conductivity than copper because sodium has got less number of the localized electrons, i.e. 1, unlike copper, which has 2. The next point we want to look at is ionic bonding. This is formed when a metal atom combined with a non-metal atom. This one involves transfer of electrons from the metal atom to the non-metal atom. The metal atoms include group 1 elements, group 2 elements, and group 3 elements. Group 1 includes lithium, sodium, and potassium. Group 2 includes magnesium, calcium, and beryllium. Group 3 includes aluminium, boron. Non-metals include elements of group 5, that is nitrogen and phosphorus, group 6, sulfur and oxygen, group 7, fluorine and chlorine. Now, let's look at an example of how to draw ionic bond. Example number one, I look at this draw, use dot and cross to show bonding in aluminium oxide. Aluminium as atomic number 13, oxygen atomic number 8. The first step number one is about to do here is to write the formula first. Write the formula of aluminium oxide. His formula is Al2O3. Now, step three. Step two 
you write a electron configuration of each atom aluminium is 283 oxygen is 2.6 now step number three you draw two boxes draw a box here then draw another box on this end then this number of two here you place it here two this number of three you place it here three then this box belong to aluminium ion this box belong to oxygen ion now aluminium form ions by losing three electrons so the three plus is placed here and then oxygen form ion by gaining two electrons so they have a charge of two negative so we place here a charge of two negative here now the next stage you look at is to draw the ion of aluminium here ion will lose these three electrons here so the remaining will be 2.8 so i draw the nucleus the first energy level two electrons then the second energy level eight electrons now if you use do crosses here you have to use dots here so to draw the ion of oxygen i first of all draw 2.6 using dots then the two electrons to be gained i use cross so i draw the nucleus first then i draw the first energy level two dots the second energy level first of all six dots and then two electrons gained like that two crosses so that is the bond formed in aluminium oxide now example number two we are told use dot and cross to show bonding in magnesium chloride magnesium atomic number 12 chlorine atomic number 17 the step one is the formula first formula is magnesium chloride that's the formula first and then magnesium configuration is 282 and then chlorine configuration is 287 then my second step i said you put two boxes one box for aluminum and sorry one box is for magnesium the other box for chlorine after that you look at the atoms magnesium was one so you don't place here one chlorine was two so i place here two then step number next is to write the charges here this one lose two electrons so I place here 2 plus. Then chlorine will gain one electron, charge will be negative. So I place here negative. Now, if I use crosses here, I have to use dots here. So if I lose two electrons here, all they remain here is 2.8. So I draw the first the nucleus, first energy level, two electrons, the second energy level, eight electrons. That is for the ion of magnesium. Then I come to, when I come to chlorine. If I use dot crosses here, I use dots here. So I draw first of all two eight seven first using dots. First energy level is two dots. Second energy level is eight dots. Third energy level is seven dots. Then one electron was obtained from this side, so I put here one cross. So that is using dot and cross to show ionic bonds. Cardinal metal combined, it forms what you call ionic compounds. Characteristics of ionic compounds include one, they are generally soluble in water. Reason, they are polar ionic compounds. Two, they have high melting and boiling point. Reason. Due to strong ionic bonds, 
which require a lot of heat energy to break. 3. Conduct electricity in mountain states reason due to presence of free and mobile ions. 4. In solid states that does not conduct electricity reason the ions are firmly held in structure by strong ionic bonds. The assignment I leave you today is 1. Use dot and cross to show bonding in A. Calcium oxide B. Lithium oxide C. Aluminium nitrite Now number 2 Number 2 in terms of structure and bonding, give a reason why aluminium oxide has high melting and boiling points. 3. In terms of structure and bonding, give a reason why aluminium has high melting and boiling points. 4. Both aluminium and molten aluminium oxide conduct electricity give a difference in their conductivity. That is the end of the lesson. In the next lesson we're going to look at covalent bond, how it is formed, other types of covalent bond which is coordinate bonds, and hydrogen bonds and fundamental process. Thank you.